Yes, there is a way to enable pass-through portals on your Oculus Quest 2, even before it's officially released. And even if you just updated your Quest 2 to version 27, you can still do this. But I'm going to show you guys the tutorial on how to do this later in the video timestamps down below. First, I want to share with you guys a couple of interesting news that I think you guys might be interested in. Population 1 finally has custom lobbies. Just today, Friday 2nd, Population 1 is getting uh, private rooms, like they call it. So definitely expect lots of videos from content creators on this, me included. Now let's talk about some games and some sales. Right now on the Oculus Store, you can get 30% off with the discount code Oculus30, and this thing ends April 8th. So go ahead and buy some stuff. Here's one suggestion, Hand Physics Lab. Now this is a game that was free on SideQuest, and now they officially released on the Oculus Store. It's a great game, I tried it out, and it really shows the possibilities and the capabilities that you can do with hand tracking for $9.99 and then with the oculus code you get it for about like seven bucks there's a game that's coming out really soon that's called swarm it's a combination of spider-man and space invaders it looks really fun and it looks fun to play in vr because swinging like spider-man and shooting in vr that combination is just really cool. I don't know why it's just so much fun in VR. It's coming out on April 8th. Hopefully you can still get the discount code from Oculus that is ending on April 8th, but I don't know on that. Pavlov Shack is now officially out on App Lab and it's free too. The developers say that they got over 3,000 new users just from App Lab alone. And so yeah, just having a multiplayer game where there's a lot of people online in VR yeah, that's, that's really good. We have exciting news from Facebook. Oculus Studio games will be bigger, more complex as development cycles expand. That is really cool news. I'm really excited for other big Oculus Studio games titles. <laughs> and I'm so happy to hear that Oculus is making more games and a lot cooler and better. That's just some really good news. Today, I will be recording an event for an Oculus Quest 2 accessory giveaway. I'll be giving away these two products. I mentioned it in a couple of my videos, really cool products. So you wanna join my event Discord down below. Also today, I received a bunch of Quest 2 accessories for a really cool video that is coming up on my channel, the ultimate Quest 2 setup, cheap on a budget. Now I'm gonna show you guys all the best accessories that you guys can get cheap and you don't want to miss out on the video so make sure you guys go subscribe down below another news that we have is the guardian intrusion detection we think that this is going to come out later in maybe a future update of the oculus quest so maybe even in version 27 but what is this if somebody walks in your guardian play area you know then your quest 2 can detect that and it can, I guess, show like a little uh, black and white version. I don't know how it's gonna be, but <laughs> it's probably just gonna alert you in some ways so that you're aware of your surroundings and so you don't whack them in the face in case they pass by. This actually is gonna be really helpful for people who have pets or for people who have annoying moms that just keep on coming in the room and ruining everything. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. Hopefully Bassey can release an EPK with uh, that thing, but it's not out yet. It's probably gonna come in a little bit later in the future. Wait, who's Basti? Well, I'm gonna be talking about now because this is the pass-through portals tutorial. I'm gonna share with you guys how to enable them and how you can have them right now, even before it's officially released. Now, I just wanna say that I have found this information out uh, thanks to the YouTuber, The Mystical, uh, who showed how to do this and who out, who got it from Basti. So yeah, it's kind of a chain. It's too good to not be shared. Now, there are a couple of things you have to know before doing this. Enable Guardian. You have to have the Oculus Developer Mode enabled. You have to have the PC, or you can do this with an Android phone. And the Mystical uh, shows you how to do that. So make sure to go watch his video on that. And finally, side quest. First, you wanna have your quest to connect it to your PC. Then go over to the link down below in the description which brings you to the GitHub with all the link, with all the, the APK files and all that kind of stuff. Click on this one and it will install. Now open up SideQuest and click on this little button to install APK files, which is the one that we just downloaded. But wait, it's not done yet. It's on your Quest 2 and I'm gonna show you guys how to enable it just now. You can safely disconnect your Oculus from your computer. Now put your Quest 2 on, go over to apps, unknown sources, and then VR shell intent launcher. Kind of a weird name, but. Unfortunately, the quest does not allow me to show the recording of this app, so I'll try to explain it to you guys. It's not much you have to do. All you have to do is click on the top left. You should see like all events. And then when you click on that, you wanna scroll all the way down, not to the first P, so like it's in alphabetical order. You don't wanna to go to the first P. You wanna to go to like the, to the second alphabetical order. You'll see what I'm talking about once you do it's it. It's pretty much all the way down to the bottom. Look for it, it says pass through portals. And then you click on that, and then whichever version you have, so if you're still on version 26, then you know click on the version 26, and then press go. This will bring you to that recognizable guardian and pass through mode, and then it will have a little cool thing where you can basically drag your little area. So sorry for the huge mess here. I just got all these products, so I have to clean this all up. But you basically, you get your controller, 
and you start from here and you just outline your whole area and you can see your keyboard and your mouse. And that is a really cool feature because now you can go and open up virtual desktop and you can have like, you can see like your mouse and keyboard as you do whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna try to edit this whole video on my VR with this DIY infinite office. So by having, you know, virtual desktop and uh, being able to see your mouse and keyboard. And yeah, I think that's a really cool feature. I mean, you don't have to put it where your mouse and keyboard is. You can also just put it anywhere. Uh, in your room. I heard BMF giving a suggestion to uh, content creators. You can actually have it right below your feet so you can know which direction you're facing at all times, other than having like a mat, and that might really help. So anyway, be creative with this, do whatever you wanna do. It's a really cool feature. If you like this video, make sure to put a thumbs up. And watch 25 more hacks that you can do on your Oculus Quest 2 right over here. If it's not up, just wait, it will come up in a couple of days. So if you don't see a bunch of hacks that you can own in Quest 2, but it's not out yet, then make sure to go subscribe right here or here somewhere around here